Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we will learn how to order numbers with multiplication problems. Okay, so let's have a look at our question. The question we're going to be working through. And there we have it. We've got A, B, C, D on the left. Each of those are multiplication problems. And on the right hand side we have to order them so that the smallest is at the top and the largest is at the bottom. So how do we do this? Well the first stage is to work out the answers to each of the problems. So let's do that. We'll start right at the top. 7 times 4. 7 times 4, you should know this with your, uh, by your 4 times table or the 7 times table. The answer is 28. How about the next one? We've got 5 times 6. What is 5 times 6? The answer is 30. The next one is a nice easy one. 12 times 2. Again, you should know this from your 2 times table. 12 times 2 is 24. And lastly, we've got 3 times 12. So what is 3 times 12? It is 36. So that's the first step done. We have calculated each of the multiplication questions. We can now begin to order them. Now which number is the smallest? We can go through the tens and units, but the numbers are so small that we'll just work from the smallest to the largest. So the smallest number, is it 28? Is it 30? Is it 24? Or is it 36? That's right, it is 24. So the top one there is C. We're now left with 28, 30 and 36. So which is the smallest out of these three? Well, the only one which, ends in t which begins with 2. That's 28. And that is A. So A comes next. We're now left with two numbers, 30 and 36, which is the smaller number. The smaller number is 30, and that is B. And we've only got one left, 36, and that is D. So we have now ordered the multiplication problems A, B, C, D from the smallest to the largest. Remember, work out the problems first and then begin to order them.